Hey, I'm Kathleen Gamer. This is Farming Sim 19, Sandy Bay, and it's episode number 10. We have hit early winter. I, in fact, it's already day two of early winter. Uh, I had high, high hopes that these fields were going to be ready on the first day of early winter. I don't know if it's because the temperature has been a bit cold. It's only 29 degrees this morning. It's 8.30 now. So I'm sure our yield has already got to be suffering at least a little bit. In fact, let's let's take just a quick moment. Hop out here and it's still growing. And 75% moisture. That's definitely not going to help you. Help any when it comes time to being done growing and time to harvest. I'm not sure if this harvest is going to work out or not. Uh, I'm feeling we may end up losing these crops. I mean, it hasn't rained in days. And yet there's 75% moisture. So it's, it's way too cold, way too early. I think it might have stopped our growth already, and then it's not dry. Uh, but in the meantime, we obviously have some pigs to take care of. And so there's a couple things that we're up to today, where we still have high hopes that at some point we may actually get some sort of harvest in. Uh, first thing that I'm up to is I've got the water tank. It's empty. And at least on our farm, there is no uh, water fill station. And so we've been using the unlikely. Oh, hello, hello. The carnival is gone for the winter. They left us all alone. Oi! Ow. Ow. Okay, the object's not there now, but it'll be back at some point. <laughs> That's where I normally go through. Our pigs seem to like salt water. Oh, come on, now it's not even filling. Okay, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. What happened? Uh, it's winter? I don't know. Is the ocean frozen? It's not letting me fill the water tank. Run out of water in the ocean. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. The oh, oh, what's the word for these? Uh, the little inlet water source. Been able to fill it up here. All right. Well, that's task one. Essentially complete. Water tank's full. And we're not going to take it back to the farm just yet, though. Because task number two happens to be in the area. And even though we are using canola, and so I'm going to turn this around, uh, even though we're using canola, uh, and wheat as our primary feed sources, about 40% of our feed is still coming uh, from the feed store here. So the corn Now we are not yet growing ourselves. And so we just ran out and we're going to load this up onto the trailer, most of it, a couple pallets on the forks themselves. I 
There's the train. Doesn't come through too often. It's just coming through now. Palettes are so awkward. They don't want to let go. Yeah. See, it's coming back. <laughs> it's got nothing to hold on to. Whoa! Whoa! Glitch. I wasn't. I didn't even have a finger on it. It just shot forward. Yeah. Uh, too many objects. Too close together. Dang it! Well, uh, and they're not letting go. And now they're hopping and skipping and jumping, frolicking like little children. All right, folks, well, this is going to be a tricky one. It is not cooperating very well today. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And it seems to be glitching out now. So we're going to have a few challenges. We'll go ahead and do the rest of this work off camera, and I'll see you back on the farm. Trailer is almost fully loaded. It's not a place for two. Uh, we're finding things are really glitching when we're both nearby. I left the area. Things are working significantly better. Still not a hundred percent. These pallets are very finicky. So we head back towards the farm. Uh, the second one that I'm bringing back. It took care of a couple of the chores. Uh, but we've kind of cruised through most of today without doing our chores. It's starting to get dark. So we'll be finishing up some chores in the night. We've spent a lot of time recently at times 120 speed, just plowing through days. And unlike standard game, you really can't afford to use a sleep trigger and go get some rest and come back or even just be AFK. These pigs are high maintenance. Let me tell you. I think their leader is the one and only, the infamous, Miss Piggy. That's right. I think she is their leader uh, because they are as high maintenance as she is. The water tank its already over half empty. I just added a straw bale a moment ago in the shredder. It's empty. And our pig feed is definitely low. All right, you don't need to come back again. Yeah. Oh. That's good. Uh, that means I'll go from this to uh, dealing with our feed situation. Whatever it is, I can l get this thing to let go. There we go. It let go. It's like I watched a Disney movie called Frozen or something. Now, we've got some cleanliness issues. And we have got some feed issues. I think that's the bigger need right now. Oof, yeah, it's all getting pretty low. Ooh, that manure is piling up pretty quick. That's nice. I pulled out and I'm frozen. Oh no. Can't go forward or backward. Game frozen, frozen, or you're stuck? No, it's the game. Alright, folks, I told you it's been uh, 
a little finicky today. Uh, we're going to have to deal with this, and we'll be back in a moment. Alright, All right, folks, we're back. It is the next morning now. And I've been working away on the chores, and of course we left last time with Steam having some issues, the game having some issues, and those issues continued right on. Uh, we've even had a full Steam reinstall session uh, after troubleshooting, not resolving things. So yeah, it's been it's been one of those days. And meanwhile, speaking of one of those days. Before we have another one of those days, I'm going to take these straw bales and put them in the shredder and give our pigs somewhere to lie down. Uh, meanwhile, we're also just about out of corn. And I thought I was clear. Speaking of, actually, I want to go this way, not that way. Uh, so food is pretty low, only on the corn part, though. So I, I do have the couple pallets that are here that I'll be able to bring back. Uh, but as for the other pallets, uh, they're on their way now. They're on the road. Come on. Let go. Let go. There you go. Well, one anyway. Maybe. Oh, it still doesn't want to let go. Come on. This isn't good. The pallets are moving back and forth on the thing. <laughs> Strap them down. They're strapped down. Okay, well, they won't go anywhere unless they launch you across the map. So, you know. That could be fun. Could learn to fly. Human cannibal. I was actually just watching uh, the movie Roma the other day, and uh, it takes place in the 70s, so they actually had, in one scene, uh, they had a human cannibal thing going, and uh, my wife, who did not grow up in the U.S., she grew up in the Philippines, had never seen it, and was like, oh, a human cannibal, and she hadn't seen it, it was in the background of the scene, and and she's like, what? What's that? When we had to go back and watch it. She sees this person flying through the air. She's like, wow. So yes, people can fly. And apparently still provide okay, excitement. Gamer, I'm here. Where do you uh, uh, want to unload it? To the third gate on your right there. So I'm piling them up just by, oh gosh, I don't know which direction that gate's going to open. We'll find out. <laughs> Is it open out or in? Okay, it opens out. There, you can, I guess, pull in to there. So, by the way, as it's now 8.49 in the morning, here's kind of our status. So wheat and canola have deteriorated a bit overnight, but yeah, corn, 16. Almost empty. Doing okay on everything else now, though. And the straw was oh. getting... Pull up a little more, a little more. That's uh, probably good right there. And I'll come around the other side with the one you got. Okay.
we'll see. This is the, uh, the let's try something new kind of experiment. Not the cleanest grab I've had, but considering where we're at, where the trailer's at. Now the idea is actually going to be to put them in this area here, if I can get this. Ugh, I hate these pallets. They just don't let go. You want to let go? Let go. There you go. So, yeah, maybe drop that one next to this one. And, I don't know, maybe this isn't the great... I don't, yeah, we're not going to be able to do this. We don't have room. Yeah, we need to be driving them into this area where the gate is, not... So, we'll have to move the trailer here in a bit. Oh, and it looked good. There we go. We're gonna have to unload this. It probably out there in the grass field. Sorry. Leco, leco. There we go. That's one way to do it. Yeah, go ahead and pull it forward and then... Well, actually, we need to put it maybe... If we put it in the field, we still got to go in and out of that gate. We got to open a different gate. Well, I'm, I'm trying to put them down here just in this space where I'm parked right now. So just inside that gate. We don't have to put them up against the wall. We have... We have two other gates to come in and out of, and we never use this gate anyway. Well, I know. That's why I'm saying we need to set them where that gate is so we can't go in and out that gate. Right, which is fine. We have plenty of other ways in and out, and this is closer to where the feed spot is. That's why I was trying to move it here to this corner instead of... That's good. Oh, except for the hill. more to go five <laughs> oh so close almost fit through there
Ah, uh, the elevation change just keeps messing with my camera. Oh, this is the one that's sideways. Emma. Okay, well, now we've got another one sideways. That's why I couldn't pick it up the way I was trying to. I just noticed it. Gonna have to get the one off of that first. So we can flip this one back up on its. Arm. Yeah. Okay, I speared it. It's not quite on here, right? But yeah, they just need to go right there. Just right there in the middle between the others. Just far enough back so that there's room for, you know, one or two behind it. Let me know in the comments below, for those of you who do play the game, do you have issues with this like we do? <laughs> Sometimes it's so easy, so fluid, and you're just bang, 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 you do what you gotta do. And then there's times where it is just beyond finicky, doesn't work right. Of course, I'm using uh, bail spikes, so they do not function perfectly. For this task, but as you can see here, they do what they need to do. There we go. This way. There we go. back. Okay. Last one. Kind of have a bush in the way though, don't we? No, no. Don't want the trailer. Can't quite get to that Perfect, there you go, viewing point. Yeah, I got it. I guess I could take this from the other side. I should be able to push it. Yeah. gonna flip it. Yeah, it's flipping it. There it went. <laughs> <laughs> too many things too close. Yeah. Yeah. Can't get 
get under it. I have to flip it after we start moving it. Yeah, that's fine. As long as we can close. As long as we can close the gate. All right. They're delivered. Let's fill up on canola and wheat, and then we can put some corn in. That's basically all we're using it for. Oi, little piggy! There we go. And we are going to start with the canola. the canola always takes longer to run out so I like keeping a partial load of wheat handy because it's gonna empty out faster because that's all she takes Always a little bit lighter on the canola. Alright, well anyway, uh, as I'm doing this, talk us through what else is going on right now. It's the third day of winter. It's early winter. And I keep checking over and over again our growth. And it's just, it's not happening. So we, oh, what am I doing? I need to put this away. Uh, so I have a feeling that these crops aren't even going to finish growing before they freeze. It's just been a harsh... It's been a harsh uh, fall. That's stunted growth to the point that they're going to freeze before getting where they need to go. In order to be harvestable. And then you added the fact that we are completely drenched and you add those two factors together and it looks like our far fall harvest is completely screwed at this point which means we might be in for snow as our next thing which actually might even hit as early as today Is a lot of corn we're short by. That's already an entire pallet, and it's only half full. Two pallets just to fill up the corn portion. And that's why we needed a full truckload, folks. Well, we're going to see that corn tick up. Cleanliness water, easy enough. So pigs are taken care of. Manure is accumulating fairly quickly now. Some of the pigs are getting almost big enough. We could sell a few if we wanted. And if we need some cash for something, that's probably a doable thing. We have a decent amount of cash right now, 130000 But obviously the big thing was we were hoping to get this double harvest in. This double harvest could have been all or most of it sold. You can see we're not even in the final growth stage yet. How that has happened 
has got to come down to nothing but temperature uh, because it should have been ready to harvest two days ago based on the cycle as far as I can tell. Uh, but like I said, we are probably not going to make it. So my guess is that's going to wither and we're going to be kind of screwed. Has it withered yet? Uh, and I suppose, speaking of, as we're now full, let's take a run over the field. Hello, piggies. We have a lot of them now, by the way. Oh, we have some, a uh, few weeds. A lot of those are dead. Yeah, we're okay. Still some out here. Still growing and still soaked. Yeah, 74%. It hasn't rained in four days. And then we're still at 74%. So not only are we having issues with the temperature preventing growth, we're having issues with the temperature and the wind preventing drying. So, like I said, I think when we start the next episode, you're probably going to see us with some withered crops, most likely, and snow. I'm the Cavalon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, be safe out there, and bye for now.